Hey guys, what's going on? What are you guys up to today? Mm. I went to the fish market and I got me some more red snapper and I went ahead and I rinsed, I cleaned it with some lemon and we rinsed it off and I seasoned it up with some Caribbean fish season and allspice and onion garlic and you know, fish seasoning and all that good stuff. So we're gonna get ahead and roast this fish. I'm just showing you all the ingredients that we're gonna need. So I'm gonna roast two fish. The only difference with the two is one gonna have um, sweet potato and the other one is not. All right. Now this one, I didn't really make the slices like before to stuff the seasoning, but I did put a lot of the seasoning in the middle. So we're going to have our garlic, our butter, our sweet potato. Um, I got some thyme. I got the water crackers. I have some scallion. That was some pimento seeds as well. The key to this ingredient, ingredient is to, this recipe is to make sure the fish doesn't get dry. You don't want this fish to get dry. So first, um, to prevent the fish from getting dry, I get aluminum foil and I go ahead and just rub the bottom the bottom of the foil with a lot of butter like that okay I use the um, smart butter if you want to use unsalted butter um, it's your preference but I, and then I have my water crackers so I notice the water crackers tend to get dry and hard and we don't want that so I just go ahead and rub the water crackers on there and I, I put them on the bottom because the water tends to you know go to the bottom so when I when I I notice when I lay them on top, they get too dry. So I like to just go ahead and put them on the bottom. I'm gonna put about five or six right in the bottom, just like that. And then I'm gonna come in with the fish, and I'm just gonna lay the fish right on top. You see all that seasoning inside. So then I'm gonna go ahead, and then I'm just gonna start to stuff it with the okra. Now this okra I had was actually frozen. It was in the refrigerator. I prefer the frozen okra because guess what? While it's in the oven roasting, it's the water is gonna come out to make all that juice so that the fish doesn't dry. So we're just gonna go ahead and stuff it with as much as you like. I put some extra okra on top and then I'm gonna come in with some onions, some garlic, um, some thyme, some scallion, of, of course a piece of scotch bonnet pepper and some allspice. If you like pumpkin, you could put pumpkin in there. I mean, listen, there's no restrictions. You just want your, you want the fish to look colorful. You just want colorful, right? But how are things? Are you guys having fun on the channel coming back? Um, let me know. What do you guys, is there any dish on mine that you guys want me to make? I think I, ha I have some salmon here. I think I'm going to do some salmon next. Um, you see, I just sliced my scallion. You want to peel off the dry part. You know, if it's dry, dirty, wash it, peel it up, and just slice it. I'm not the best cutter. You could cut it however you like. Yeah, I was saying, tell me in the comments if you if you want me to make anything. I saw someone ask me, how do I make a um, jerk sauce? So maybe I'll do something, how to make jerk from scratch. Um, someone else asked me for um, yellow rice. Someone else asked me how to make um, yellow rice. I saw that, so maybe I'll do a video for that. Okay, so here's my scotch bonnet pepper. Usually, you know, be, I'm used to dealing with pepper, so it doesn't bother my hands. If your hands are very sensitive, put on some gloves. Now, you don't want to put the seeds of the pepper into the fish. It's just going to ruin the, the fish. Just a piece of skin, like a little a little piece, right? Because it's very... And some allspice, or you could put pimento. Those came from Jamaica, so I just put a little bit. You can find them at any Caribbean grocery store. I'm going to tell you, stick with the Caribbean or a Hispanic grocery store versus over like a, a, a Publix or a Walmart or a chain store because it's just the seasonings are going to be more, what do you want to call it, authentic. Okay, now we're just going to swaddle this fish like a baby. Oh, I forgot the garlic. I'm going to throw that garlic in there. You're going to swallow the fish like a baby you know how you swaddle swaddle the baby when it comes home from the hospital and you wrap it up nice so it's nice and cuddly so we're just gonna fold it once and then fold it twice you want this butter and everything to steam and then we're gonna crease it on the end I put my oven on like 325 and I let this sit for about 
30 to 40 minutes, I come and check it. And then I come in with the fish tea and I mix the fish tea with some boiling water. And I go ahead and add that in my fish so it does not dry. You do not want this fish to dry. So now I'm coming in with the next fish. It's like his and hers, right? So I want a sweet potato in mine. I like sweet potato in mine. Not pumpkin, but I just, I don't know what it is. The sweet potato wrapped inside tastes really yummy. So I only use one. This is a pretty large one. So I just went and, you know, scraped it off. I'm going to wash it up, chop it up, and I'm just going to repeat the same thing I just did. Okay? So I'm actually in the process of writing a cookbook. I'm actually halfway through. Um, I've My goal is to get it out. Definitely, it's coming this year. <laughs> but I'm doing these tutorials, too, in the meantime. Um, it's actually fun. I've been wanting to write a cookbook forever, but just... You never find the time or you always get distraction and I distracted and I just felt like um, now is the time to do it. I see so many vlogging. I see so many um, cooking vlogs and people cooking, having fun. So I figured, all right, let me just join the community, right? <laughs> so like I said, we're just going to slice up this um, sweet potato. How do you guys like your sweet potatoes? What do you guys do? Do you guys make candy ants? Do you make sweet potato pie? Do you... What do you what do you guys do with them? You know, I kind of roast my I do make a conch. I roast a conch with um pumpkin. I shred it up. So here we go again. We're just gonna come in with the butter and I'm just throwing that butter on there. Like so. Place the fish, stuff it with the okra, add all the veggies, and then I come in with the pumpkin. Yeah, so I'm initially from New York. That's why I talk kind of fast. Um, my mother's family's from Jamaica. My father's from Egypt. So I have a very unique mixture. So I'm Afro-Caribbean. I do live in Florida. So I've always lived in places that had so much diversity. Different. I love Latino food and Cuban food and Middle Eastern food. And of course, Italian food. Who doesn't love Italian food? And um, I'm just a big foodie. And for me, it's just when I'm in the kitchen, you know, I'm just having fun and I just like creating stuff and making a fusion and trying different different things. So here's the second fish right here. And by this time, my oven should have been warmed. I already warmed it up. Um, I don't know if you realize that bag of fish tea, what I do, that seasoning I showed in the beginning, I strain it. See, here's the sweet potatoes. I'm just coming in and putting those in. The fish tea that I had, the package, I strain it. So I don't put the noodles. I don't, when I add the water, I don't I don't put any of the noodles in it. I just go for the broth. Now that stuff has a lot of sodium. So just be mindful when you're seasoning, using your se seasonings, be mindful of your, your sodium intake. Okay, here's the scotch bonnet pepper again. No seeds. I'm just slicing off a little. Listen, I've been eating pepper since I was a kid. So like this little piece doesn't even you know affect me but you do it to the temperature of your liking once again this is called a spice channel safari spice i wouldn't i wouldn't have named it spice if it wasn't gonna be spicy so you know we just oh yeah onion i had onion as well and then we're just gonna fold this one up again and then i'm done throw it in the oven 325 for 40 minutes add in the water with the fish tea add cook it down for like another hour we cook it, you know, thing one thing with Jamaican cooking or Caribbean cooking, you have to cook it slow. It's a slow, everything, their curry chicken, their brown soup chicken, brown soup, everything is a slow cook. You can't rush it. So to keep it slow, I just kind of um, keep it on a low temperature. And um, that's pretty much it. Let's, let's get these in the oven, right? All this prep work, chop, chop, chop. I'm going to come in, I'm going to fold this up, and in the oven it is going to go. So that's how it looks in the foil. We're starting to make some sauce. Look at that. Nice and yummy. The potatoes are nice. So you want to fold this and keep this tight. You see the crackers are done. See all the seasoning inside. See the crackers? Oh my God, it's delicious. It smells so good. Enjoy, guys. Let me know how it looks in the comments. Have fun. Let me know how it comes out if you try it. Bye.